Hello, welcome back. This is Games Broadcasts and Bullshit. I am Wendy, better known as Bravo Chick on the interwebs. Uh, 11th episode of the GBBS podcast uh, right here with my fellow co-host Nick. What's up, Nick? How's it yeah, going? It's going pretty good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Living life over here, doing doing the, mm -hmm. the things you got to do to continue about your days. But I am Nick, also known as Nickinator15. Uh, you can find me on Twitch, YouTube, uh, TikTok, and uh, and all that crazy stuff. So you, you find somebody on the interwebs, mm -hmm. you'll see stuff come up on the yep. screen, and you can check out the links and everything. Just look up Nickinator15, you'll, you'll probably find me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm like Bravo Chick or Bravo Chick 10. One of those. Like, I'm not at Bravo Chick on Twitter. Um, but, yeah. You can find the links and stuff. It's basically the same thing. Like, I haven't changed my name platforms at all. Um, God, it feels like we were just here two days ago doing this, and it's been two weeks. Time's That's always flying, crazy. isn't it? Like... Time is ridiculous. Um, it just never waits for you. Last, it just keeps rolling. and It it keeps going, and it's just like, sheesh, slow down. <laughs> I can't keep up. Um, in the previous episodes, we kind of went 12 rounds with Twitch. Uh, we're more or less like disgruntled employees or like Karens, you know, complaining about Twitch and some of the, yeah. the choices they have made recently. I threw a few um, hits at Twitch. Just some things make sure, me frustrated, but sure. you know that's that's what happens when you you're with something so close and and you work with it like mm -hmm. you know almost daily. You know you always got right. things to nitpick about it, right? <clears throat> mhm. Mm I went on a rant about how I will never buy any more Logitech hardware because their software uh, tends to suck, and then um how it seems to be an uptick lately about um with ads on twitch which is not fun for anybody nope but um definitely not and not uh, good. like and the whole ad space basically with uh you know live streaming is kind of different than mm -hmm. than what you see when it comes to like uh, live tv but here we are trying exactly. to figure it out so i'm sure one day we'll come to a conclusion of what makes us mm -hmm. all happy i mean Right. <laughs> Hold on, I take that back. You can't make everybody happy. <laughs> you can't. There's always going to be something. You know, you can make you can make some of the people happy all the time, all the people happy some of the time, but you'll never make all the people happy all the time. I think that's a quote from Abraham Lincoln or John Cena or something like that. Well, you love your quotes but, from uh, Abraham Lincoln, so... I do, I do. There's no... I don't think there's really any hard concrete proof he said that, but it sounds like a Lincoln-esque thing, like something... You know, Abe would say. There you go. Good old Abraham Lincoln. So that was what was going uh, on, uh, you know, before in the, the older times of Podcast 10. Mm -hmm. Now we got Podcast 11 yep. here. What have you been playing? Let's jump right into the gaming. What's going on? Um, I have been, you know, going back to the old standbys, doing, uh, when I do get time to play, I've been playing a Farming Simulator and America Truck Simulator. Um, Don Diego is now out for Farming Simulator 22, and that was... My favorite map for FS17, so having a lot of fun with that. And, uh, yeah, then just been trucking, too. Um, haven't had a lot of time for gaming or streaming here recently, but, um, you know, when I do, I just, I love those old, you know, pillars of my gaming life, I guess you could say. Good old Farming Simulator and ATS. We got a little bit special, uh, you know, add-on for the whole gaming world, uh, this podcast. Isn't that right there, Wendy? Yeah. That's we have right. somebody yeah, coming on that's going to be talking more on the console uh, end of things. Yeah. So be sure to stick around and listen into the guest that we got coming in today. It's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. They, uh, this special guest pretty much told me that, you know, me and uh, Nick and I, we are PC snobs. <laughs> and uh, I, I would agree with them. You know, I tend to look down at consoles and, you know, we'll figure out here in a little bit. Um, why we shouldn't do that. But what have you been playing here recently, Nick? Well, I've been continuing along my Resident Evil series because we got October, and uh, I've never played Resident Evil before, and these games have been quite incredible. Um, I did play... So 2 and 3 were the, the remakes I played, and they were fun. Mm -hmm. I had a, a great time playing them, but when I got to Resident Evil 7 and more recently Village... The whole atmosphere was completely different, I find. The the sounds were more mm -hmm. immersive and, and everything. They, it feels like those games were uh, a lot better atmospherically than the, mm -hmm. the other ones, 2 and 3. 
So, uh, and Village ended up being my favorite Resident Evil I've played so far. Interesting. Okay. So, I, right. I, I don't know why it's taken me this long to get around to playing those games, but I, I, I had a blast playing it, so... Um, that's kind of been your mo this year with some of the other titles you've played this year i've played like, i don't know why it took me so yep. long but what was it bioshock I bioshock think? uh mm -hmm. far cry uh i feel like there's another one out there that i can't think of i played I so too. many new um, games this year metro metro was another one metro. yeah mm -hmm. and those games all of them that i've played i've had a blast playing them and i they just been sitting in my library for so long right, right. so I have so many games just sitting in my Steam library. But yeah, but, also uh, this week I've been playing Call of Duty, so ramping up for the new release coming this Friday on yeah. the 28th, uh, the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I've been playing... Everyone's really excited about that. Yeah, uh, I've, I've been playing all the Modern Warfare series campaigns just to kind of get my head wrapped around that whole uh, the whole campaign and the, the story going on in that. So, right. And I've just finished all the way up to the more recent Modern Warfare, so I'm ready to dive right into the story. Whenever You're ready get to, to go. When does that come out again? The 28th, so this Friday. Okay. So I'm excited. Well, yeah, that'll that'll be fun. You should be uh, set for the weekend on content then. <laughs> yeah, because there's also, excuse me, there's also a, uh, a DLC for Resident Evil Village coming out mm -hmm. on the same Friday, the 28th. We're getting a Winter's Expansion is what they're calling it. And it, wow. it's got a lot of hype around it, so I'm also going to be mm -hmm. diving in and playing some of that. So, yeah. And um, just as a side note, you know, Gotham Knights has released, but you're kind of pumping the brakes on that one, right? That is right. I I w was getting a little bit of feedback beforehand from people playing the game. It was getting mm -hmm. mixed thoughts, so I'm like, all right, when the game comes out, I'm gonna wait for the reviews to come through on Steam and just see what's going on, what people are talking about. And it turns out that there was a lot of performance issues right off the start. Mm -hmm. And unless you had like a quite a beefy computer, it might be hard to, to play that game. So I'm just going right. to wait a little bit and, and wait for some updates for the performance to be fixed out before I get into that. Because I'm not really in a rush to find a new game to get into. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> I've already. You are. I'm already quite you are busy. Set. Yeah, exactly. You told me like two months ago, you're like, I think I'm set for the next six months. I'm like, <laughs> At least. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not bored in gaming right now, so. <laughs> Excuse me. That's good. Um, I just need to find more time to, to game and to stream. Like, this is my first stream this week. I'd be ashamed. Um. So I guess, uh, yeah, Call of Duty coming out Friday. That'll be um, some good fresh content. And a good one. Hope, like uh, it's, it's a Modern Warfare series, and those ones have always been good ones, right? So, I want to say Modern Warfare was my nephew's favorite. He was like, oh my god, Modern Warfare, love that one. Yeah, and I, I did play the, uh, the multiplayer beta way back when it was. Mm -hmm. I, I played about four to five hours of it, and you know, I had a good mm -hmm. time playing some multiplayer and just shooting some stuff. But, you know, we'll see when it comes oh, yeah. out. So, so uh, moving on to gaming news, Minecraft Live was, uh, I think, two Saturdays ago. Um, usually, like, it's really hyped up, um, and it was this time as well, but this time the keynote was a bit different. And uh, their, you know, annual little addresses every year, they've, uh, here recently, they've always came with some kind of, you know, title update, like... The Oceans update, or the Caves and Cliffs update, or, you know, crap like right. that. This time, they switched gears, and they're like, we don't even have a name for this update yet. And, um, while I'm glad, because in previous, like, keynote addresses in the past, Mo Yang and Minecraft have always rushed all of these new features, you know, that, that they're working on to bring to Minecraft. And then, you know, a good... 20 25 percent of them feels like they just end up on the editing floor like okay that didn't make it in or that that didn't make it in so they took a different angle uh going into this uh year's minecraft live and i feel like they went too far from going from one you know spectrum being like we're gonna show all the content you know that we're gonna try to put in this update to showing very little like um as far as minecraft goes basically the whole like what's coming soon to you know java and 
Bedrock Minecraft. It's um, bamboo is going to be a new wood type. So that's good. You know, that's great. Um, a bookshelf that will actually hold books. I've been wanting <laughs> this for like ever. And uh, um, camels, which camels are really cool because two uh, Minecraft players can ride the camel at the same time. Interesting. Um, okay. Outside of that, I felt like it was a little underwhelming, but they did. They posted a lot of news on some of their other stuff, like Minecraft Dungeons, and what is? It seems like there's another Minecraft esque game that I am forgetting. Legends here. is the new one but, that's uh, coming out like next year. Legends, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, yeah. They talked about that one. Um, well, I'm glad and, you that you ran through the the gist of what happened in the yeah. whole Minecraft live because I didn't get a chance to actually see that. So I watched it, um, but. I was, it was a little underwhelming for me this time. Um, right. I don't know. I just thought they went from having too much to talk about to being like, we're going to add three things to Minecraft. But like they're saying, the basic reason they're doing this is they want to involve the community more and see what the community wants. So we'll see where Minecraft 1.20 takes us. Should be a I'm fun I'm kind of thinking like, uh, the... it, as Minecraft does, I, I wonder if they're kind of really looking around for more content because... That game's been out for so long, right? It's kind of hard to think of more There's things to add on. There's still plenty they could cover. I'm, um, I got no creative minds. <laughs> right. Well, they, another thing is they, they're doing hanging signs, and I think it's awesome. But I also think the text should be on both sides of the sign. I really, honest to goodness, do. That's fair, yeah. And um, inventory update. Like, ever since, what was it, Minecraft? 1.12 the colorful update that brought in like concrete and concrete powder they've just been adding tons and tons of variations of minecraft blocks for the minecrafter to use which is awesome and great but it's still the same 27 item backpack and it's like we really really need an inventory update that's the one thing i'm just starving for when it comes to minecraft well another game that uh we have had uh we've been talking about many updates for and whatnot mm -hmm. from SCS over here is American Truck Simulator, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, what is that state that you uh, that you're wanting right now? Texas. <laughs> they keep putting more we news about Texas, Star and I, I keep seeing it on my Steam page. It's coming. It's going to come. It, I think it's going to come next month because SCS has a really good track record of releasing something in November. Uh, they have a Halloween event going on right now that I think you can do in either ATS or ETS too. So that might be fun to. A fun thing to check out, as well as, um, I think last week they celebrated Euro Truck Simulator 2's 10th year, like, anniversary. Yes, I did see that, yeah. Which is pretty cool. That was just recently they did that. Mm-hmm. Which so. is wild. I, I actually remember playing Euro Truck uh, Simulator. I played the original one before 2 was even released. Mm-hmm. Because I was quite a simulator fan, like, way back in the day uh, as well, right. so... I do remember playing that. And then Euro Truck Simulator 2, I didn't get it when it first released. I actually got it. It was like $5 or something on sale. And I was like, yo, this is this is great. I'm going to go pick this up. And, you know, I got a wheel and everything. And it was it was pretty exciting. I think I played it in 2013, I want to say, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's crazy to see, you know, the game, how far it's come, like what's been added. And, you know, yeah. they still have updates planned and... It's uh, it's fun to see the company really put that much support into their game all these years. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I think um, I think yes, yes is doing a really good job. It will be really interesting to see where they go after Texas. But uh, moving on from that, uh, Sims Four is free to play now. Yeah, go Ooh. figure, right? You got to pay for all <laughs> those expansions though. Mm, yeah, that just uh, we were talking about how. With Sims 4 free to play now, if that means we may be getting Sims 5 sometime next year. Yeah, it could be maybe next year. Um, although, I, I'm actually quite surprised that Sims 4, like the base game, wasn't free to mm -hmm. play even earlier than this. Because if you think about it, it kind of gets somebody hooked on the game. And those expansions, That's they'll really grab you in. You. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know. True. But. It's free to play now, what? so you can go in if you've yeah. never played The Sims 4 before. Um, it's free on Steam, I think. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure about console. PC snob over here. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 
Uh, I'm sure you can look around and see, but if it's free to play on on PC, I'm sure they've made it free to play on all platforms. I would hope yeah. so. Yeah, but so just don't get sucked. You into told me to write down Plague Tale Requiem. I thought it was a very neat game that I saw, and there was it's mm -hmm. actually a a sequel to another game called Plague, the Plague Tale um, Innocence, which I've also never played. Yeah. And these games are called like the rat games. So it's basically about a plague. It's like the, a black plague that's spread by rats. And you got to kind of like go in and, and try to stop it or, or whatever. But um, it looks mm -hmm. like a really good game. It's rated very well. So uh, if anyone's also seen that game and, and played it, let me know how you thought it was. Because I I'm, might be picking up that game soon. At least the first one to see. And, uh, yeah. I know, um, I know Andy, uh, was talking about how that game has, like, he sees a lot of people playing that game on Twitch right now. It's yeah, it's, cool. it's popular on Twitch and I'm holding off from watching it because I'm like, you know, I, I'd rather play it myself. <laughs> I want to play it. Right. So. And then, uh, this Uncharted Legacy. Yeah, I, I threw that in that? there because I know Uncharted was a PlayStation game. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. I never got around to playing Uncharted, but this is also another game that's like, it's been around for a long time. And, mm -hmm. you know, PlayStation players love this game. They always talk about Uncharted. So it's nice to see PlayStation right. starting to bring some of these games to PC uh, so I mm -hmm. can <clears throat> not have to get a console. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, it's it's nice. I might end up picking up that game next year, depending on how busy I am. Oh, yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. I, again, it's it's nice to see that you know we're getting all these other platforms included, so people have their choice and what they want to play their games on, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of having maybe right. three different consoles, because Xbox games before weren't uh, on PC, like all of them, all the exclusives, they were tied to just mm -hmm. a console, and then they started bringing right. their games to PC, and that's where I think Sony was like. Hey, there's a market for, you know, people that play console games. It's they also the PC players also want them too. So right. it's nice to see all these platforms there. So yeah. Why don't you go ahead and round out the rest of uh, gaming news? Yeah. So I've talked about Resident Evil Village uh, DLC coming, but there's also Resident Evil Four remake coming next year in the spring. And mm -hmm. Resident Evil Four, I think, is. Um, arguably one of the best resident evil evils uh from the fans i've again i'm uh when i first started playing resident evil uh this month i was like mm -hmm. okay listen guys i'm a little bit of a virgin when it comes to resident evil uh series <laughs> I, mean, I've, I haven't watched yeah. any gameplay i haven't played any games so but i've heard a lot about the resident evil games and everybody talks about four and they're remaking it and Resident Evil does a really good job at remaking the games. It's not just a reskin, right? Mm -hmm. They really go in, right. they they make it more modern. And the older games, uh, I know the very old original Resident Evils were like a third person camera thing, like in a room and you see yourself walk into a room and you go to the oh, next really? room and it yeah. moves the camera to the next room instead of like being tied to the body. And so right. now, you know, you got that third person on your body and it's more... Uh, more horror aspect where the old ones i think mm -hmm. people said that the older games were more action these ones are bringing mm -hmm. in a little bit more horror so okay so they really so remake those games so. fun. right but yeah so i think that uh that wraps up the gaming news portion now to uh bring on our guest it is uh the one and only x spiders venom x twitch.tv slash x spiders venom uh, X. It's been on uh, streaming on Twitch since about 2013, 2014. Really awesome dude. I met him playing Farming Simulator. And uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and bring Spider on. We have a fun little w tidbit to tell you about how about Spider and I, yeah, something I'm we share. I'm interested in hearing all about it. <laughs> but, yeah, so um, how's it going, Spider? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Very doing well. Doing good, doing good. So, um... I met Spider playing Farming Simulator, and um, Spider was on Facebook one night, and he realized that there's a picture of someone that he used to game with on SOCOM, and uh, the dude in the picture was standing with me. 
<laughs> and <laughs> and so I get a message from the spider. He's like, do you know Wendell? And I'm like, that's my brother. And he's like, this is crazy. He's like, I used to play SOCOM with your brother, like, back in the day. And now here we are playing Farming Simulator together. So it's very unique, very, uh, very, you know, small world. You know what I mean? It's quite, uh, quite interesting. I can, um, I can remember the very first time playing with your brother mm -hmm. exactly what we were doing what map it was everything that's amazing because he he was the clan leader and i don't i guess after that game i got my invite to the clan and hell yeah oh we played that for years oh you, my you, brother was you know. huge into so no, yeah you know <laughs> god he was so good yeah that was too. um ps2 days yeah playstation 2 ago. very popular long console long too i know a lot of people talk about the playstation 2 Mm -hmm. So, I one of my favorite games was on PS2. It was a game called Black. It's an EA first person shooter game called Black. Never even heard Hell of it. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, it's it is awesome. Right on. So why um, don't we get uh, Spider to introduce himself and tell him what he's all about? Yeah. Oh God, what am I all about? Let's see. X Spiders Venom X on Twitch. None of my other branding matches, so we don't need to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I do several different things. Like my Instagram mm -hmm. has absolutely nothing to do with the game or right. anything. It's something totally different. I only promote it certain places, but does it have anything to do with the hat you're wearing? <laughs> Probably, yes. <laughs> um, it's basically about the sporting teams that I follow and collect yeah. and that kind of stuff. But it's really cool. To find me, the easiest way is right here on Twitch, X Spiders mm -hmm. Venom X. Um, there is a Discord community also, mm -hmm. and it's all listed. Great in the, community. It's listed down in the thing, the specs yeah. of the page or whatever it's called. Absolutely. The the panels. That's the what it's panels. called. The yeah, panels. Yeah, panels. Twitch panels. But yeah, I've been on Twitch a long time. It seems like, like, I I can remember back when we do three streams a day. Oh my god! How would that work? Three, all three streams a day. All from, all from a PlayStation Four. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you started your like adventure into streaming on a console, right? I was playing Farm Simulator Fifteen, mm -hmm. and I don't remember exactly even. The, I don't know how I did. But I ended up on Twitch watching Farm Simulator um, streams. And like, I can do this from the console. All I got to do is push one button, and there it is. Yeah. So I just started it. And for the longest time, it was just me and Wisebot hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and it just slowly started to become something. And I would say it was when Farm 17 launched is when it really took off for, yeah. for my Twitch. I feel like... Uh... That is 17 still your favorite? Yes, 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 by far. Mm -hmm. 17, that's where I got introduced to the PC version also. We right. did the big I remember the I remember the I remember the night I <laughs> the stream off and I told everybody next time you see me on live, we will be a, it'll be from a computer. From a it computer. won't be a, it will not be a console. <laughs> and we um we uh, switched to PC that night. I spent a lot of money. I, I I did the whole switch. I'm talking microphone, computer, green screen, lights, monitors, everything. Right. We did one big switch. I tore the whole desk apart that night, <laughs> redid the whole thing. And I lost some viewers because stream, really? streaming from Sony, you get the Sony live viewers. Yeah. Mm. I didn't get I didn't get those anymore. I was no longer live on Sony. So you could go to your on your console and see who's live. Mm -hmm. I didn't get those anymore. Wow. But I think it, for the most part, it was for the best. Switching to PC for streaming was by far probably the the best move. Right. Because well, especially... you can do you, you can do so much more. Right. And there was well, yeah, more with with the modding community yeah. specifically that, for for, that, for that, farming that, simulator. That was the serious push was farming because I had learned what. Um, I'll just say I learned what Don Diego was. I was like, I can't do any of that on a console. Wait a minute. Right. I'm, uh, it's like you're missing out a little bit. Yeah. Now, I'm saying that this was how many years ago? Three? Four? Long time ago. <laughs> four years ago. <laughs> Long time ago. Yeah. Things have changed. Longer In fact, I, <laughs> now, now you can get some mods. There's mods on console. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not. You can't adjust them like we do. Right. 
but there are mods and you can change your game experience a lot with on farm sim on console Which, and i like how it's right there you know within the game itself even yep. as a pc player it's nice it's to still there. go there and yep. grab it you it's know? very nice to see when and games introduce like a mod menu and you can kind of change yes. all that so so much more convenient it's definitely a better. I, I I think it's a better experience on PC farm sim, mm -hmm. just like my just like Minecraft. I like console Minecraft. I, I where I work, they have a realm, and I get on there and I play with it mm -hmm. with those guys. But PC Minecraft is better. <laughs> it's just a better. Right. It's a better I've, thing. I've never played like Bedrock or Windows Edition or it's console, Java. whatever they want to call it. I've always just played Java. So. Yep. Yeah, I can only speak to Java Minecraft, and I freaking love it. I love it so much where I'm like, <laughs> all those other versions of Minecraft are beneath me. Mm. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> they, 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 they kind of, they, they kind yeah. of are, actually. That, that's, a, that's an example yeah. that you're right. It, it is. And there are games that PC does way better, and it's the experience you get. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. no one on no one on console playing Farm Sim 17 is to experience what you and I have experienced on like Don Diego. Right. It's not mm -hmm. going to happen. I think simulators no, in general are kind of a better experience for the most part on PC, right? So just you can get yeah, those mods sure. in and, and everything because simulators, like the modding community is usually quite large in those. I was working on mods this morning for Sim. So yeah, but I prefer I prefer certain games on console, certain games on PC. So um what is so as a as someone that is a, like I'm a PC snob, I'm not afraid to admit it. Why should I go out like why should I go out right now and buy PlayStation 5? I I strongly feel that the next gens, which I'm going to I don't have an Xbox. I have a PlayStation 5. I feel that that they are so far ahead from like the PS4. It is a whole really? thing's a computer. It's basically a computer and you can, you know, you can keyboard mouse with it if you want. It, it will, it'll do you it. You can do that on the old ones. And, so. Yeah, you yeah. could. And I feel that, I don't know. I think, I feel that the graphics have just, it's, it's a, it's a, such a big leap forward from ps4 for from yeah for a console for ps4 days the graphics up to a ps5 even what a ps5 does to a ps4 game is right. just insane you hook that thing up to a 4k monitor tv whatever and it's just i've seen things that i haven't seen in games before it, yeah. it's crazy it's just it's it's very it's a lot it, it's very powerful well 4k was the big push with those consoles because that's when 4k tvs were Starting to become mainstream yep. in in the house, right? So, you know, yeah. they, they TVs. Um, advancement in television seems to push a lot of things. A so, lot of technology. Yeah. Yep. Um, but like, Gotham Knights just released console, and this may just be to that one game. And aren't they limited to like thirty frames per second? I'm not sure. That I feels follow. low for me. For like, um, I play. Gen. I play Grand Theft Auto 5 60 frames in 4K and it's smooth as butter. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Like uh, uh you, I know most games you could play like 60 FPS on console cuz that was another big push with the the new gen was, yep. you know, let's go from 30 to 60 FPS. So, I, I remember seeing all this when these were it's a, it's a, being released. It's a it's a world of difference too. It's it's just yeah, it's hard to explain. You just got to see it. You like I did, I, like I got the opportunity to get it. I got it, and I hooked it all up. I was like, okay, here we go. Now I'm buying games just to see what they look like. For me, like on PC, it's it's the difference between 60 and like 100 and 100 plus frames per second. Is like, I can tell when the game right. is not uh, uh, above like 60 FPS. Like <laughs> I'm at the yeah. point where you know when when you experience something so good, it's hard to experience something that's you know not at that. Yeah, less you know, than. yeah, less than, right? So it's it's kind of hard. I'm, I'm a little excited. I'm a little excited for new call. I really want to see that on PS4. I I'm just I've got high hopes for it. I'm yeah. hoping it, I, I'm I'm hoping it runs a solid 60, just smooth. I mean, because that'll be something that consoles never really have. Call of Duty would very benefit from having like a you know first person shooters at 60 FPS, where you kind of need that fast paced like movement, right? Mm -hmm. So, right. 
but I'll sit here and admit that, you know, there's games that are better on PC and there's games I feel, I feel console is always going to have a place. I just well, con- starting, consoles... start, starting with it the way I did, I just, mm-hmm. I'm always going to have it. Set. And here recently, haven't you done more, like you've kind of went back to your roots. Yeah. Haven't you been doing a lot of streaming from your PlayStation five? No, no, I, 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 I play the game from it, but I don't stream. From it. Okay. I stream it through OBS through the PC because that's the one thing. I don't know if you remember back on PS4, the stream used to have like the the layout the where I was up the in the side. corner and the right, thing on the yeah. They don't have that. They took all that away, and the the software or the program for streaming is quite lacking on console, in my opinion. But still, you're like plugging it into like a game capture or something, yeah. right? Yeah, I've got my game yeah. capture right there, and I run it through OBS and stream it. Right now, I can. And I'll say I wake up and the computer starts shooting smoke out, and I'm done. Like, oh, this sucks. I've got the PS5 camera right here. I can stream from it. Mm-hmm. So it will. It'll. It's. It's a very powerful backup, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. If it ever fails. That's fair. And I feel yeah, like, I can. Uh... But I can. I can definitely stream from it. I have streamed from it. I I did it to test it. Right. But I, I, I'm not very happy with its program, though. Mm-hmm. It's, Especially it's, like if you use on OBS, that. it's like it's, it's 2022. Come on, man. Yeah, you know, it's Sony. You, you, you know? Everybody, you, you see, you see what everybody does on Twitch. You should at least have some something better than just the camera in the corner. That's it. Yeah, they should have mm-hmm. like you know preset overlays or something where you can just kind of choose one and and you can kind of. <laughs> do all that there right? um, yeah the ps4 had that but you can't do that on this one interesting and i wonder if like, just like be... their just like their chroma key it's just it's horrible really? you, it's can't trash. Green, you, you can't green it out it will not go interesting. away it's, it's just blurry it's pretty bad i wonder if there will ever be like a console application more to make streaming you know more polished and more I don't know what the word I'm looking for. You would think this day and age it would. That might be a moneymaker right you there. Know, that's what if people only I knew do. how to code. That's, you know? that's, what, that's what people do. They stream their games. Yeah. Yeah. For whatever for whatever reason. Yeah, because I know even with Share the uh, the previous gen consoles, like it was a thing where you can have more than one application kind of going at the same time, right? So it's kinda surprising that there's nothing for the new gen. I feel that it was a step backwards on the software part of the streaming mm. right Once maybe again, they maybe, maybe, lacking. maybe they forgot about it i don't know it didn't it's work like on everything else. Yeah. which is very surprising so because like, oh, like shit, this kind of happened after you know the covid era and this is when everybody was on yeah. twitch and streaming and all over on all of these yeah. online platforms so you think uh, things would improve but it's kind of interesting that it kind of went backwards in that department but i have not i haven't had one I haven't had a single bad experience yet. It's all been it's been pretty good mm-hmm. with the PlayStation 5. Well, that's good. So you were going to say something that would, like, change our minds when it comes to... Oh, you know, I was. I totally forgot. Well, if it comes oh, to you. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, you said that, like, I'm going to save that for the podcast. I'm like, shit, now you have me wondering. Yeah. I was while you guys were doing your intro and stuff, Damn I was there thinking about stuff. I was like, what was I gonna say? Oh well. Can't remember. I really I seriously can't. You ever have those forget? All like, the time. Oh yeah. All the yeah. time. I will be talking and I'll be like, blah, blah, what the what was my point? Yeah. I'm just gonna keep talking and hope it comes back to me. Right. Type thing. I get to the point sometimes where I'm like, you know what, just <laughs> I don't. I, it's I'm gone. not gonna bother I, with it yeah, anymore. Like it's gone. If it's if it's important, oh, it will come I'll, back. I'll think of it tomorrow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but anyway, I I just I've had a good experience with it, and I do both. I, I I play PC and I play console. I do both. Um, my um, girlfriend has a PS5 also, so we play a lot of multiplayer together on that. That's so cool. that's. And she does not have a gaming PC. She's a console. She has every console, seems like. But <laughs> she does not do I the wish I had all my old consoles. Oh, she does. Yeah. I wish we I were did. we were digging through some of them that are down in the cabinets and stuff on in the living room there. And she's got an old Nintendo DS. And I like and I opened it up and I'm like, you know the screen's cracked, right? 
you can just toss that it's done you know it's sitting there with all the others i would give anything to have my super nintendo and all the games i had and my nintendo 64 and all the games i had like those are my two favorite consoles of all time there's a good question what is your favorite console oh i'm gonna for say both play, of you. playstation for sure yeah well, console or console and pc like you're saying, your, your, your your, your, yeah console? your favorite console like that you've had through the years uh, PlayStation. <laughs> playstation is there a specific one that like... you like the, the most well right now the five yeah, but okay. i mean <laughs> I have a I had a lot of experience and a lot of time on PS4. Yeah. And that's what started my Twitch. So PS4, I don't I don't own a PS4 now. We actually traded mine in on PS5, but because mm -hmm. I don't need it, because you can play everything on your PS5 now. But I'd say PS4, mm -hmm. and I like PlayStation in general. I've yeah. my favorite. I had an Xbox 360. Do you guys remember when, long time ago, when the hackers hacked the Sony network? And it was down for like a month. I think I remember hearing remember all about this. Long. Yeah. It was like a month, month and a half. And Jeez. I was back then, I was working at a game store and I was hardcore into Call of Duty. I mean, I bought mm -hmm. everything. Right. Everything was Call of Duty. It was all about Call of Duty back then. I was like, I can't. And you have to have um, plus to be online. Well, you couldn't play online. Well, I don't care about anything else, Call of Duty. I like to play multiplayer. So I took home an Xbox 360, and I was... So this was PS3 days, yep. mm -hmm. which I did not like the PS3 at all. I don't all. think many people and did. Took Interesting. Home. It was Interesting. horrible. Interesting. It was horrible because I remember... Note that. Yeah, note that, because I'm going to come back to that, because I have a story. <laughs> I'll, I'll actually, I'll segue into it with this. So I took home an Xbox 360, and I could play Call of Duty. I bought Xbox Live. There we go. And I just fell in love with that thing. Yeah. Realizing that I started to buy other games for it. And I started buying my PlayStation 3 games over 2 and Skyrim. Mm -hmm. PlayStation 3 could not hold its frames on Skyrim. It didn't have the power to do it. Right. Xbox 360 could. So I, I switched. Wow, yeah. I switched over. For a, turn coat. I turned. I did turn. <laughs> I was all about the Xbox 360. I had the Modern Warfare um, 3 edition and had the cool uh, Modern Warfare controllers, and I went all out on it until PS4 come around, and that was a way more powerful system. Oh, yeah. There was a huge was, difference. I was, was the was the 360 the one that had, like, the red ring of death? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Never I had actually, that problem with PlayStation. I I've never had actually, it with my Xbox. Actually, I did. I did. I did <laughs> I've have never that had problem. an Xbox either. X, I don't remember what they called it, but there was a light on the uh, PlayStation 3. Mm -hmm. It did the exact same thing. Really? And my PS3 did that to me. It bricked. Oh, no. And I've got a photo. I have a photo <laughs> on Facebook. I dug it up and showed someone the other day of my PS3 spread out on my kitchen table, taken apart in pieces so I could put more of that heat. Um, heat sink or whatever. Paint. Yeah, where that paste oh, yeah, was. Thermal paste, paste. Yeah. thermal paste, that's what it is. And I put it back together and it worked. Wow. It turned right on and fired Hell up. yeah. Interesting. And I was like, okay. You. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a... I, Dr. I'm console here. I, I'm shocked that I Should open that. up a business. Say, hey, I'll just bring your uh, brick to PlayStation 3s in. <laughs> It was, it was already <laughs> broke. I wasn't gonna. I was. I was already. Not, it wasn't working. So, what am I gonna that's, lose? That's how I am with things too. Like if something's not working, I'm like, well, I'm just gonna figure out if I can see. If, you know, maybe fix it myself, right? I just start diving right in. <laughs> so, that's like touch PS4. wood. I've never had a console just die on me. I always like uh, to like the starting from the Super Nintendo and on. I always just gave whenever I'd get a new console, I gave my old console to my nephew. And I regret doing that because I wish, like I said, I wish I had some of those old consoles. I remember having the PlayStation 4. I, I played on that for a little bit. Uh, mostly when I was working a lot. Like I just get home after mm -hmm. like a long day. I just wanted to lay down on my couch or something. And just, you know, it's convenient to have a controller right there, right? And you just turn it on. Because it's, and, cause it's easy. Yeah, exactly, right? You don't have to yeah. worry about, you know, all this other PC stuff. You just sit down, press a button, and <laughs> you can play your game. And nah, you know, he, he's proven my, a, he's proven my point. <laughs> you don't got to worry about updating you know drivers. You don't have to worry about audio. You just push the button, play the game. Let me uh, 
Let me just sit down, fire up the computer, and load up Minecraft or something <laughs> like that, and I'm good. But yeah, uh, no, I had I the PlayStation Four for a bit, and it stopped working uh, on me. And what fixed it was I just took it and I just gave a little bang over my knee, and it just <laughs> started working again. I'm like, okay, just beat the shit out of it. That'll they're, get it they're easy to start. They're easy yeah, to fix. Yeah, so I don't know. Just, just was, it. If I did it with my PC, I, <laughs> I don't know if it would ever work. I have a... <laughs> I have a pretty healthy warranty on the P- on the PS5. So oh, I bet. It gives me one hiccup. I'm not going to hesitate to use it. Are they easier to like get your hands on one now, or are they still more no, rare than unicorn shit? They're still rare. I fell into mine. Should I have updated my PC first? Probably, but I had an opportunity to get my PS5, so I took it. And my girlfriend, she had to get on a list at a GameStop. Not a list. Wow. And then they had to wait. So we we're waiting for the phone call. Well, then this phone call is just to tell you, well, this is the day we're going to have five of them here. You need to be here when we open. We were, Jeez. we were at, we, I went with her. We were at GameStop <laughs> at 5 a.m. First in line. Were you first in line? Yep, we were first. They only had five to give out, and people were coming up getting pissed off because there's already five I people. Bet. I oh bet. no! And, and yeah, oh yeah! What a mess! I, I, it was pretty awesome. But yeah, she <laughs> her, her her bundle was pretty cool. She about seven hundred and fifty dollars worth. Hell yeah! What she spent on it. So right yeah, on. the whole uh, release like thing for GameStop. I never did one of those. I've done midnight book releases, but a friend of mine, I can't even remember which game it was now. But he camped out at his freaking GameStop. The day before, and he was first in line, but it was like he stayed there pretty much for 24 hours Ugh. to make sure he could get his hands on. I want to say it was a Final Fantasy game. It was something like that, and like a huge release. And even though he had his reserved, he could have walked in at 3 p.m. that afternoon and they would have had to give him one. But, you know, he had a little tent and everything. And it's like, God, I guess those days are kind of gone now of, you know, having release that's, parties. That, that's why I like the digital age. I don't want to wait in line. I don't want a disc. <laughs> I don't want to hold it. I don't need a disc. I'll right. just download it. I yeah. think the experience I, is cool. I, I love I love that. Like, I, like... I, I don't ever want to go back to having to have a disc. <laughs> I don't care. That's fair because, you know, you got to make sure you don't get any scratches. You got to make sure you put it in the case, put it away change your disc out when you want to change games now it's just you close with your controller and just open up a new game right away right so it just yes, comes down to convenience yes. so I, I don't have to get off the couch <laughs> <laughs> that's a dream isn't but it like <laughs> yep. yeah yeah but I, I, but I always created an opportunity it's like oh, i'm gonna change games i guess we'll get up pee and grab another beer or something like that you know <laughs> um i'm still not convinced that I should go out and get a console. Because from PlayStation 2 to now, um, I've only ever really used it to play mainly two games, and that's, you know, golf titles and um, MLB The Show. Granted, I, th- I think the most played PlayStation I had, and this is interesting since you, I think you said PlayStation 3 was your least favorite. Yeah. That is no doubt about it, the, the PlayStation I played the most on. I think it's the worst one of them. That is I think most wild. people would agree with that. And I think we used our PlayStation 3 in the house more as a Blu-ray player than we did as mm-hmm. <laughs> as an actual yeah. game console. I still have mine in my closet right now. But um, I'm still like, as someone who plays a lot of PC games and really would only need a console I, to I play guess it just, I guess it falls to where you want to invest. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Where do you where do you want that game to, that you buy to sit and not play? And right in my Steam you know library. What? If, I, <laughs> if I can get it in my Steam library, that's where <laughs> I would like it most. I, I have a hefty 300 plus games in my library too. Yeah. yeah. I I that a, was bad. Yeah, that's oh, all right. Like, like 120 it, or something stupid. like that. Stupid. My Steam library is so stupid. I only have like 3 of them installed. <laughs> <laughs> I am the same boat. It's just like I don't want to buy it because I'm not going to play it. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I bought, I've bought in three games on PlayStation Five that I, I played it three or four minutes, wanted something different, and there they sit. 
Yeah, so that's it's that, another it's that way on both. It's that way on both. So with Steam, at least you do have the opportunity to refund a game. Is that anything that's on console? Nope. You're just remember, fucked. Remember that trucking game that I bought? Yeah. Uh huh. I played it one time. That is trash. horrible trash. It's trash. horrible. And it's just sitting there. I wow. have a thirty dollar game just sitting there. Ouch. But I think Steam's refund policy is actually quite amazing. Like they do a really good it's, job. It is. It, it really it's is. Got a time limit, don't it? Like yeah. two hours so, so or many two days. Weeks. Yeah. Or yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. I've re I've returned games on Steam for sure. Oh yeah, same. People say they've had uh, sometimes they've had you know uh, success refunding a game that they play more than two hours in. So. I have never not had one not work. I've always gotten my refund when I've tried. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't keep track of how That's long. That's like. Played. A long time ago when arc first came out i was peer pressured into getting that shit pile of the game <laughs> personal opinion um never because i was told oh you gotta get arc and we're gonna play it it's gonna be awesome i've never even freaking installed it on my pc and andy was like you, you know what you, you should you should try to refund it see what happens it's like i bought that game like six <laughs> years ago i highly <laughs> doubt Steam will be like, okay, yeah, go go ahead, give her her money back. You know, it's like I don't think that'll work. I just I usually just refund right into my like Steam a... wallet because I know I'm gonna end up buying something anyway on Steam. Yeah, yeah. Somebody gifted fair. somebody gifted me Ark, <laughs> and I've never installed it. I don't ever plan to. I know people love that game. That game has a massive following, and there, you know, it, it truly does have its base. But I just don't. I don't care for it personally. I think it's fun collecting, all right? It's, it's not just, you know, game. you got it's a game collection, you know. I, I'm st I get the same thing with <laughs> books, all right? I got I've started to get a book collection, you know. <laughs> a lot of books that I don't have it read or Right. Well, I wish I had the money back for my collection. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm of course. I'm thinking I'm thinking like you know, when we get to the jumping off point, is it something we're going to have to put in our will? Like, I bequeath my Steam library to insert person's name I here. Think, I think it'd be cool if we could give them away. Right? Or Can you imagine if you could sell game? your Steam yeah. library? I'm, I'm selling my Steam account for uh, $3,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that'd be a cool uh, thing. Let us trade the game if we can't get our money yes, back. Let us yes. Trade or or, or re Maybe Bravo. It. Maybe Bravo wants this game called Ark. I don't want it. Oh God, no! But like, like a little black market or something people, on there. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I'm not gonna play this anymore. Let me just gift it to you. You know, maybe you'll get some enjoyment out of it. Yeah, console not that I'm aware of has no return. So short your, from like taking, sh yeah, short from taking a physical copy back to like game stuff and being like, even then, yeah, you, even then it's. I haven't really been in a GameStop maybe twice in the last seven, eight, nine years. I don't, I don't do think it. I've been in a GameStop this decade. So I'm not sure I what they have. do. I think I was in there, yeah. I think two years ago. And I swear half the store was just filled with those pop figures. <laughs> yeah. Some, um friend of mine was telling me how like, they're starting to sell hardware now. And it's like, you should buy your hardware at GameStop to keep them alive. And I'm like... Mm. It's so much easier on Amazon. I don't even have to leave my house. Yeah, you know, sorry, but I think I think it's safe to say that I think uh, GameStop will go the way of Blockbuster. You know, in the next it, ten years or so. I'm an hour from any GameStop, so yeah. it's not hard for me not to deal with it. Yeah. No, like, yeah. Uh, what are they gonna do? They they can't really sell digital games there because the digital games are just gonna be sold right there on the the, the right. platform for the console. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Unless I'm... unless they like turn into like a vintage game corporate, I, and I don't even think there's a big enough market no. for that. Even no, it's very niche. There, there's not. There's not. Just collectors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to go out and buy a, a Super Nintendo tomorrow. <laughs> I don't have any interest in it. So I would. <laughs> you 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 would, yeah. Yeah, some pe I some would. other Which people I might. Got, but... I think they have a like a Super Nintendo Mini that has like so many games like preloaded onto it now too. ROMs. They're yeah. called ROMs. Game ROM. 
Is that like I an emulator I, or something? Yeah. Yeah. I got a... Actually, I think I have a couple somewhere. <laughs> Emulators. You can, you can put an emulator on your computer. Yeah. yeah. I, I've, I've seen a lot of Twitch streams, actually. People have a lot of emulated stuff yeah. from before. Playing Mario Brothers, but it's emulated yeah. on the computer. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, it makes it a little bit more convenient to stream too, right? So, because <clears throat> some of these right. old consoles, oh, you don't have the connections to go. Like a, ca a capture card is mostly right. like HDMI, right? So, yep. yeah, it doesn't have the three, you know, cords we used to have oh, back yeah. in the day the red, the yellow, and the white, you know. Nobody wants to go out and find a capture card that has that. So, <laughs> so yeah. If they even make it, you know. I had one. You did? You I had a capture card that had the three long, plugs? Long time ago. We, it was just, well, it was a game recorder. It recorded to a hard drive that I could put the hard drive, plug it into my computer, and take the footage off of it is what it was. Wow. Oh, yeah. pain, so big pain it in wasn't the ass. Quite, it wasn't quite, well, it was back in the day. It wasn't quite live. But yeah. we used to, at the game store, have Guitar Hero tournaments, and we Fine. used those to record the footage so we could stuff with them that, that, i think that would that that would make me get a console if they would bring back guitar hero or rock band or something like that because i freaking love those games back in the day i'm shocked we don't have those now I, like they yeah. just faded right? away i don't know what ever they happened to those games like a fad i guess i know there's a following so i know there's a like, following for it it's almost to me it feels like that's been morphed into like beat saber you know or yeah. you know virtual reality she's got a picking and grinning or whatever she's got a she plays beat saber a lot. yeah i've played beat saber <sighs> yeah. too and it's it's a lot of fun like the interactive ability like having yeah. it right there in the headset is really neat and it makes you really feel like you're inside there right so i i rode a roller coaster on a vr yeah. That's all I need. I'm good. <laughs> Nick Nick totally didn't like put his controllers in his head through. His oh my god! I, I was doing the the song. <laughs> what, what's it called again? It goes one hop this time. I went, boom. <gasps> yeah. I actually jumped and just time. smacked my controllers right into the seal and uh. Yeah. <laughs> He's a tall boy. I got right into it. Oh, I didn't. I totally yeah. didn't even think about the fucking god, the outer world. <laughs> Those are fun streams to watch. Like when you stream Beat Saber, that was one of the most fun entertaining streams i think i've ever you know watched on on twitch it was just uh so incredible like there was some where i know you did like the macarena and i'm up i'm dancing <laughs> with you i'm like yeah woo, let's go ooh, ooh, you know it's just a lot of, you know a lot right of fun. yeah vrs are incredible but, uh, things that's something i really want to get and that's something that it's like another one of those things it's like should I have gotten flight control? Should I have updated, you know, parts of my PC? Should I get a VR headset? It's like, crap, I don't know what to do. We're just going to do it as we get to it, I guess. Right. Um, I actually have a question for Spider. Can... A little bit okay. of a, you know, putting your creative mind to it. But uh, right. what is what good. is your dream game? Like, if you were to make a game, like, you had oh, everything my. you could pour into it, what would, like, what would it be? What would that game be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to fall back to something we used to about when we streamed Farm Sun. Mm -hmm. We always thought it would be cool that if you could mesh, yeah, I think you've been in this conversation too. Yep. If we could mesh Farm Sim, Truck Sim together, Flight Sim. Yeah, all of it. Where, all like, so it. say Spider's working the farm, I'm got a load ready to go, and here comes Bravo in the semi. And when she leaves the map, she's in truck sim, train sim, yeah, taking it wherever. Yeah, and just to mesh those simulators together to have like a giant open world a type massive thing. simulator. I'm having deja vu. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I, I said mean, the same thing when you asked me. We, we yeah. talked, all three of us. We talked that, about that years ago, and yeah. But, I think that's the ultimate simulator stream to where if you're a train simulator, mesh. you know, you can go in here and you can haul loads, you know, and if you're a trucker, you get in and you take, you know, stuff so, from here to there. And if you're a flyer, then you get in your plane and you it one massive simulator. If so you're a cool. city builder, you're building the city. And, you know, if you're a miner, you go down and you mine all the good, like just massive massive mmo simulator it would just be called just real call life simulator. Right? no <laughs> just, no I, I would just call it simulator simulating all of your dreams uh, which sounds like an episode of black mirror and we'll get into that here yeah. in a minute <laughs> but i am um, yeah something like that would be cool um the simulation part that would just i think that'd be really neat i think that would 
I don't even know. It's, it's hard to imagine it all. You could throw construction simulator oh, yeah. in there now. Everything. Because I, need I know new, that's I need, a huge I, game I, right now. I need a new barn built. Yeah. 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 Well, it's it's and funny to hear would... though. Like most of these, like everybody that seems to be into these simulators would probably have the exact same answer. Yeah. What was the map? I remember the map that triggered that conversation with my community. I think PV it was a... rivers where you no, had to build the bridges was... and the factories. No, no. This was before. I think it was Goldcrest, the standard map on seventeen. Wow. Do you remember on Goldcrest where the main highway would go to across that map, but then it mm -hmm. would just stop and there was a tunnel. Yeah. That's what triggered it. Well, what's past the tunnel? What yeah. could be past that, that's what triggered it. What could right. be past that? What's on the other side of the tunnel? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm hoping that the new Grand Theft Auto six comes out. I'm hoping that we can interact with the different cities in a ma in some sort of method like that and how huge that could get that's what it sounds like to me like in all intents and purposes it seems like the beginning will be vice city but mm -hmm. as they go on and further develop it it's going to be like you can go to other cities which sounds that would be really pretty cool. awesome hell yeah that's that's what i want yeah that's that's the massive kind of multiplayer that i want yeah hell yeah I don't know. It's interesting um, to see. Like we might uh, see some of this right within the next decade. Gaming has, yeah. if you think about like ten years ago, how far gaming has come, right? Mm -hmm. Who knows where the heck we're gonna be in, in another ten years, where the gaming community has got a like a huge increase of budget and all this stuff. Like there's so mm -hmm. much more people playing. They're even being like supported by government. Yeah. Like what? There was some game that was like being supported by government that had to be released because they got a government grant type deal. Yep. Um, to that effect, going back to the whole like simulation theory, uh, uh, you know, game, you could almost say we were doing that you know, back in January and February playing Grand Theft Auto roleplay because you could you could drive a truck, you could do farming, you could go mining, you could own a freaking, you know, car dealership, you could be a drug overlord, you could be a lawyer, you could be a cop. Right. Like, it's it's going that way, which is really, really exciting. So kind of like for, for, semi simulation roleplay? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much, yeah. More or less, pretty much. If you could think it, you could you could do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be neat to see, you know, what comes in the next little bit. Maybe we'll see a simulation of this kind, even if it's on a smaller Maybe scale, we'll be... right? You know what? There's with. already like a game on Steam where you you're a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer. <laughs> there's if it's not already, there's gonna be on there where you're like, you know, podcaster simulator A. Oh yeah, you know. There's a simulator. I think, for, I think there's a simulator for everything yeah. in there. Much. Seems like it. I'm still holding out for camping simulator. Give me camping simulator. I will play that all day, every day. I have, <laughs> I, I have rock simulator. Rock simulator. I've streamed that. You just fucking kick rocks for. Or no, something? you're just a rock on the screen. Yeah, I've seen that. And then it, and as time passes, your level goes up. So I'll start it. I'll go to sleep, and I'll stop it. I'll stop the. I'll stop the stream when I wake up the next morning. Oh it's like a not. Yeah, I, I got on Discord when they said that's the longest nine hours I ever did. <laughs> there's a, just your rock. There's a tree simulator that's the exact same thing. You literally just swatch that your tree grow. That would be such grow. a cop out for someone doing like a 24 hour stream. Oh, yeah. We're going to rock watch this tree grow and I'm going to sleep it, for eight multiplayer. hours. It's multiplayer. Yeah, the tree simulator is co op. They're with you. <laughs> so, yeah. it's like a dollar oh, my like a dollar. mind is blown now like that's crazy yeah. and you can you can like, as you rank up get different rock skins it's it's just stupid but that is wild it's like a dollar i think i think it's oh, under man. it's under three dollars on steam okay. i think i think show dog showed me that that's just too funny shout it. out show dog <laughs> for the rock game it. let's well, go we've seen so many cool yeah. simulators like so what would be we bravo said it already what would be dream game he, i said the exact same thing when i came across oh, this man. oh yeah <laughs> yeah mm. why, why there is, is this made? This needs there to is happen. there is one game that i had that i wish i could pull from the past and it is so old it was a dos game wow. like it was played on dos really really old 
Like, that's pre-Windows 95 days, you know what I mean? Carmen Old, San Diego. But it was, it was called Emergency Room, and it was so fucking cool because you actually played as a doctor, and you would go and pick the cases, and it was such, like, as someone who at the time, like, my dream was to be a doctor, I fucking love that game, you know? I'd be like, oh, this is, this is what I want, and, like, there's Surgeon Simulator on Steam, but it's not the same. It's not... It, like, Surgeon, you can't compare it because, like, Emergency Room back in 1994 on DOS, it took it so seriously. And for what it was at the time, it had really damn good graphics. Like, it was people. Like, they even had actors that would come up and be like, have you filled out your paperwork? You better get those uh, soaps in. And it's like, okay, that's what they, uh, like, subjective, objective, assessment and plan or whatever. But it was just, oh, it was so much fun. Like, if, if I could pull a game and have it modernized, it'd be that. Because that was, it was a lot of fun. Interesting. Yeah, that sounds like yeah. a really fun game. Because, uh, you know, I do uh, enjoy myself playing some hospital games. Even though I've got, what's that, Project Hospital. And I haven't even played it, really. Project Hospital, it. Two Point Hospital, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, I did play oh, Two Point Hospital when it first came out. It was interesting, mm -hmm. but very cartoony. Had a lot of there was some funny, you know, things about it. I didn't like it. I Andy, Andy was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you didn't play Two Point Hospital. Why aren't you excited for this?" And then he ended up gifting it to me, and I streamed it. And I'm like, "I'm just not. I'm not feeling this at all." Yeah. So I was like, "I'm sorry, Andy. You know, it just it's not. It, it ain't working for the Bravo chick." My old game that, like, you know, I'm I'm a little bit of the newer generation, but I loved playing uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon back in the day. And mm -hmm. the newer ones are just not the same. The Planet like, Coaster is a hard game to play. Yeah, it's just, it's not the same experience, personally. in my opinion. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not, like, the same top-down, I don't know, it's it's weird, it's more, it's more different. I just, I loved Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 was my favorite, so... Mm -hmm. um, Although there is like a mobile version, it's nice to play on the tablet. It's called Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, and it basically yeah. the same game. Hell yeah! And uh, it's pretty cool. So hell yeah! So I guess we can switch into some broadcasting. Um, fellow f uh, streamer and a friend of mine has uh, he's been kind of alternating here recently between Twitch streams and YouTube streams, and he kind of has me intrigued by it. Is that so? So, um, yeah. And um, he's like, you know, YouTube streaming, it just hits different. It feels different. It hits different. And it might be something I try in the not-too-distant future. Wow. What y'all think about that? That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> If you were to go to another platform, if Twitch died tonight, which platform would you go to? YouTube. Because I already have a subscriber base and a channel and everything. So you yeah. got it. You kind of got it right yeah. there, right? You already set up I've, for I've you. Streamed, I, I've streamed on YouTube long time ago testing mm -hmm. to right. see if I could do it. And I've got, you know, I've got like several hundred videos over there now. Probably YouTube. That's I, I don't. I, I don't facebook because i don't promote anything on facebook because i consider that more personal right more family based right. friends and if i would say i was streaming on facebook now this could happen on any platform but i feel that facebook would be easier for a, a troll to mm -hmm. mess with you friends family whatever versus you know if you're going to troll me here on twitch to like dox you're, you're, you're or probably like not that. you're probably not going to dig all the way back to facebook to get to my right. friends and my family so but i welcome trolls i do i like messing with them <laughs> there you I'm go that person. i can appreciate a good troll but a good yeah. troll is so hard to find mm -hmm. these days they, they they lack effort they don't put they effort really in it anymore do. Like, but oh. i would strongly say youtube yeah. i think that'd be your best bet more than likely yeah I mean, I chose, like, my platform I'd go to would probably be, at least for the forefront, would be TikTok. Just because of the discoverability yeah. on that platform is... So shorter content. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, like, even now, the, you can do 10-minute videos on TikTok now. Um, right. Like, it's not... But majority is short-term, like, short format, right? But, like, the live mm -hmm. streaming on there is... It's incredible to see. Like, the content I see on there for how many views they're getting, I'm like, 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> mm-hmm. Right? Right. Yeah. You just slap your face on there and you know, you're good, you're good to go. Um, but it's, it's interesting. I would definitely have a fallback where, you know, any of my mm-hmm. more loyal viewers would go to. So probably YouTube or something, but, um, right. Yeah. That would be my whole platform of choice. Why would you, why do you want to try it? Are you just sick of Twitch? Just no, it's more up, of hedging. I, no, I love Twitch, but you know, with the changes recently, it does have me a little concerned. You know, like um, I think we've, you know, there's a decrease in viewership across the board. I feel like less and less people are. Is this something that you guys that the Twitch stuff did in your last show? Because I haven't listened to the last show yet. We butchered our, Twitch pretty butchered well. Twitch. Yeah, I need to yeah. listen to that. I will probably listen to that over the next two days because I got to go to Minneapolis, so right. I have time to kill. But yeah, I, I want to hear this. I, I I have no problem butchering Twitch at all. <laughs> well, I mean, we did a pretty good job of it last episode. Like I said, you know, it's it's kind of easy to do so when you're with something so close, right? Um, right. Especially yeah. you, if your family, right? You you with them all the time. Mm-hmm. You're always going to get into some kind of bickerment, right? So you always mm-hmm. got something against them, and in, in some small form or big form whether it be you know i guess i'd be afraid of the whole it, it just feels like you're starting over yeah uh, it's uh, it's hard that would to be do. tough and especially on a platform that's as saturated as youtube is yeah oh, yeah that's as that's just as bad as twitch yeah for yeah. discoverability i heard youtube's for live streaming is probably worse than twitch <laughs> right but like that's one thing you know you could potentially you know, once you cross the threshold for TikTok and do the whole multi-stream where you're going to both TikTok and YouTube, you know, that could possi- possibly be a thing. I know a friend of mine does it here on Twitch. Right. He, you know, he goes to TikTok and Twitch, so. It's becoming a, a thing, people doing these different, like, multiple platforms. I've seen it a lot mm-hmm. with TikTok and Twitch. Right. Just because they can easily pull a few hundred viewers on TikTok where they're probably getting, I, I, yeah. like, way less on Twitch. I swore I would never do a TikTok and yeah, I swore I'd never do a TikTok and I'm on TikTok now. So that kind of tells, you know, where, where the, where the, how the feeling is right now, I guess. The big thing about TikTok is you need a thousand followers in order to even live stream. Right. Right. On their platform. I just feel like Twitch is, I don't know, it's going through something right now and I just hope it makes it off the other side. I think it will though. Yeah, I mean, it's it does have money behind it, you know, Amazon yeah. and it, the site itself, I'm sure makes, even though they, they make it seem like they're probably not, like they're not making much money, I, they got to be making tons mm-hmm. of money. <laughs> they got to be. Right, so I think it's just mm-hmm. Amazon setting budget goals or something down the Twitch. Right. right. Probably. So, I don't know. I guess I know. Uh, what's, what's the big thing that's happening? I, I, I'm out of the loop, Twitch. They're pushing more ads. Uh, they've cut partner rev- uh, subscription revenue back to 50-50. Yeah, I knew that. Um, more ads. Have you seen it lately? <laughs> so even after the last uh, podcast, have you seen on Twitter? I'll, I've seen a lot of content creators. They've actually sharing screenshots of their offer they've received from Twitch on their uh, ad program. And really? one person was like, it was $24,000 if they streamed 160 hours in the month and ran six minutes of ads per hour. Yeah. Six minutes of ads per hour. Could you imagine trying to watch a live stream of somebody playing a video game and you had to watch six minutes every hour? As a content creator for $24,000? You're you're getting commercials. Yeah. (laughs) I will stream once a month. (laughs) <laughs> once a quarter and be like mm, there you go just watch these ads right you know but like as a content creator i don't I, if i if i had the choice to say no ads on my stream i would i really honest to goodness would just because i don't like i don't like watching the ads and i hate forcing that you know i think a brb break i'm not the one fine. doing the forcing it's it's twitch doing the forcing yeah i'm only getting about one stream every 10 days right now but that's going to change because my schedule's changing so but i am um, i did set the ad thing up and i did the bare minimum the yeah. absolute bare minimum 
that it would allow me to do when it would play, how long, how many. Mm-hmm. And I don't see a problem with it. But if you don't like it, I guess subscribe. Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, you can like... Uh... But Which I made a mention. Subscribe and get ad free. Yeah. I think I mentioned that too on the the last podcast. I even uh, mentioned Twitch Turbo, so which is an option. Yeah, yeah. Which is site wide, no yeah. ads. Mm-hmm. So yep. it's kind of like YouTube Red, but for Twitch. Right. Um, so I this... think I um, when I had your stream up all ago, I I sat through ads. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't ever. I've never noticed the whole, I, I have you in theater. I had you in theater mode. And mm-hmm. then the, the your player got small and then the ad popped up on the bottom. I'm like, what is really? that? That's new. It did it like mm-hmm. three. I think it did like three times. I think the, the banner ads have been around <laughs> for a little while now on Twitch. But I think more recently, you're seeing, starting to see them a little bit more often. So... Well, does that mean where you still get to watch the stream, right. but yep. there's an ad rolling? Can you hear the stream? No, it's just a banner, yeah. I think, right? It, it, it's a banner. It's just oh. a silent ad, like a, just like a photo of gotcha. whatever. Like, like Gary G Fuel or what? I yeah. honestly don't. I can't remember the last time. I kind of like, like a pop up. Right. Okay. So what kind of ads? Right. Like, so you just watch an ad. What kind of ads do you see on Twitch? Because I haven't seen an ad in I don't know how long on Twitch. I. I I didn't pay any attention to what it was. <laughs> Most people probably don't. I want I want to say it was something Amazon. Actually. See, that's that's I had an assumption that I, I think, think it was. I, I think it was something Amazon on one of them, but I was not paying attention. I was basically just had it over there, and I wanted to see what I looked like when I came on. Yeah, <laughs> but then I shut it off. I think when I had the hiccup with the audio is when I shut it off. Right. Okay. But yeah, I I, I didn't pay attention to what they were. And when I watch, when ads just come on, mm-hmm. I don't even listen or pay attention to I them. I think most ads on Twitch right. are Amazon, uh, funny enough. <laughs> it's the I company just, behind them, but kind of like, it makes it sense, it's right? a lot about their, the movies and stuff on Prime is what I think yeah. is the most. Oh, okay. But, and so I, I'm pretty sure I heard somebody say that one of Amazon's big motives behind purchasing Twitch was they're going to use this platform to push more Prime subscriptions. And that's where this whole... Hey, you can, you know, give a free subscription or have a free subscription if you mm-hmm. are with Prime. But I don't think that actually worked that way. I don't think they gained many new subscribers from Twitch. No? I really don't think I don't think would would you I if you didn't have think... Prime, would you go I'm going to go buy Prime to get a free subscription? No, you're not going to spend 100 no. and something dollars a no. year. Always just had I had Prime before yeah. that even that before that program rolled I out. I think if somebody's gonna get Prime, they were like, um, they were gonna do it for something on their platform. It. I am bad about it, so it's I, like. In fact, when your stream was up, my thing popped up. I have a free. So I I forget about it. I do too, Most and I feel do. really bad about it because you know, spend Jeff Bezos money, even though I don't think it affects his bottom line at all. <laughs> no, but. I don't know. It's it's interesting, but they've had some you know things with Prime Gaming, but I don't think that's really. <laughs> I, I don't I've, open that. Thing. I don't think I've ever gotten anything out of Prime Gaming, or I'm like, oh my god, I really wanted this. Right. Thank you, Prime Gaming. You know. I think it's I got something on Red Dead one time. That was about it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't I ever. Get... I don't ever go mess with it. I think I got like NBA 2K 2019 or 2020 or something like that. And I'm like, cool, there's a game I'll never play, but I'll take it anyways. It's free. Why not? That little prime button on my um, Twitch page probably has a notification thing there all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mine does. I'm really, um, really bad about it. Do y'all have any content creator advice? I do. Yeah? Lay it on me. Mine would be... uh. It's good to dream of like a big goal, right? You you get a big goal mm-hmm. you want to achieve, right? But it's kind right. of more realistic and probably, you know, better to have smaller goals along the way. That way, mm-hmm. every time you get to something and achieve that goal, it's kind of a, it gives you a little bit more motivation to keep going, right? Yeah. So always have small goals. Small goals are along the way. A really good thing to have. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, I, I like that a lot. Like, whatever your big you can set a big goal but you know have all these other steps along the way that you can knock out on your way to I'm not just like whatever your big goal I'm not is. saying like follower goals or any of that like with number wise right maybe like a mental mm-hmm. goal you want to get somewhere mentally 
uh, whether yeah. it be streaming or even anything in life, right? So, yeah, it doesn't even have to pertain to streaming, just yeah. anything in general. Yeah, that's a really... That's good advice there. What do you think there, Spider? Oh, <laughs> man, I could go on for days. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> let's, let's go. To do. I say one of the biggest things to do is a be interaction. Yeah. I don't know how many times I've jumped on a stream and the guys, I'm going to just imitate, just doing this, playing the game, but looking at his phone, not paying any attention to your chat. Right. You have to acknowledge, make that person feel like they're important for so this, however long they're there. This could be a good little like thing, like the do nots of streaming. So you're saying do not be on your phone and, and i would it, not no i'm yeah. rare sometimes i've done it i've been on my yeah filter. sometimes you kind I, of I, do I, a, a yeah. little yeah. sometimes you just get like eh, we've all done check it this we've really all quickly. we've all been playing a game and you just get into the kind of that, that silence mode and it's like you're not really talking you're doing right. what you're doing but you don't yeah. talk i fall i fall into that more than anything i'll just be like man whatever just get this done gotta get this field done whatever mm -hmm. But on top of that, I think something else that would help a starting streamer would be don't go jump on Grand Theft Auto and turn the stream on. And You're at the bottom of the page. Mm -hmm. That's a huge game that's saturated, and don't start with that. Pick a mid-tier game. Why do you think I picked Farm Sim? That's such a good ago? game to, mm -hmm. to get on to try that's and a grow great, a community. That's great advice. Like right now, there's probably, what, 500 viewers. So yeah. what, I, before we, while you guys were introing, mm -hmm. I was looking on the farm sim page at how, and I, it doesn't take long to scroll to the bottom. So it you're noticing, you're, all, yeah. you're noticing every p person doing it. You're mm -hmm. looking at names, you're looking at views, you're looking at what their thumbnail is. What are, what's mm -hmm. he working on? By the time so I get that... to, by the time I get to you on Grand Theft Auto, I'm done. I'm out. It's like, I'm, yeah, I'm, so... I've, I've scrolled 15 times. I don't even know what I looked at. So try to start with games that aren't as saturated. Yeah, yeah that's a why. A mid-tier, uh, kind of like a, a thousand viewers. I love playing. Find uh, a game that you're good at or you like to play with a thousand viewers and go mm -hmm. jump into that community and see yep. what you can do. Yeah. See what happens. I love playing Factorio, right? And it actually so happens, mm -hmm. you know, it's another niche uh, st streamed game on uh, Twitch. Right. And I actually think um, I'd probably get the best viewership in that game in Factorio, and I think I actually get a lot of interaction as well because people are mm -hmm. always asking me questions like right. how I'm doing s certain things in the game, right? Mm -hmm. So right. it's always neat that way instead of just putting on a, a popular game that might have tons of viewers and, you know, some people just... Granted, you know, you can make it in a big title, but you were going to have to grind your ass you, off. You have you to know? have talent somewhere in it. Be... Yeah, you better if, be unique and in that one percent. Yeah, you better be. Yeah, because you know if if like say you're in the Minecraft category, you better be coming up mm. with something that hasn't been done before if you're going to get noticed in that community. And either that or just really really grind your ass off. Like you won't do it on just Twitch. Streams every day. Yeah, you need to put that content not, not somewhere today. else. Not so today. to get yourself yeah. out there in order to grow in that game. You need so you're to saying get throw, you know, you throw it on TikTok it. or Instagram or YouTube. Any other yep. platform, social media, just all of it. <laughs> you're gonna mm -hmm. need to pour your yeah. heart into it and soul. Right. <laughs> so six years ago, not so much. Oh, easy. You could just do That's it. That's true. Now, nowadays, no, you gotta throw it everywhere. Six years ago, if you were yeah. streaming on a PC and had some some okay looking stream, you'll probably make it <laughs> with like yeah. a yeah, absolutely with some viewership, right? So yeah. Yeah, like within or or, first... or 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 a console. <laughs> right. Yeah, like uh, within <laughs> two weeks of when I first started streaming, I I was like averaging twenty viewers a stream, and I'm like, this is kind of crazy. I didn't think it would go this fast. Like I was prepared to go months with just like one viewer, you know, nobody watching, and for it to go from like, you know, two to four to eight to 20 within two weeks was insane. I can imagine trying to do that nowadays might be a bit mm. more, you know, a bit more of an exercise. I, or I, I'm a little, I'm a little worried about my own actually, because I've slacked off a lot. Yeah, me have, too. I have a lot. Like mm -hmm. I'll go 14, like twice a month. This is my streams now. Mm -hmm. But with the job changing, we've got the drivers now, I'm going to be home. 
Yeah. I can pick that. I can get two or three a week, maybe at, right. in the evening. So it's almost like I'm kind of going to be doing a writing starting over too. Hell yeah. Cause you're not, cause you're not used to seeing spider stream pop up live. Mm-hmm. And I know, I know I've lost a little bit on that, but yeah. I don't do it. I don't do it for money and I don't do it for numbers. So right. I don't care. That's that. that uh, don't don't jump in this thinking this is going to be your career. No, you better, this, you this better is have a, a hobby. Start yeah. off as a hobby, something fun. You know, if you're thinking you're going to jump in this and be the next ninja, it's <laughs> not work that way. It's not. You better come to the platform just not. with like talent that's not seen anywhere, right? Yeah, that's that's the only way you can make it anywhere. Is you need that very unique talent. You need to be very talented in something. And, like. While all three of us, you know, we have sub buttons and whatnot, I'd still say I'm, I would think I'm still in the red as it comes to streaming with yeah. all the oh, yeah. crap oh, I oh, bought oh, to Jesus. stream, oh, you know, oh, yeah. it, it is an investment. It, no. When yeah. I, I don't think it's paid for it from the money I spent when I switched to PC. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know, I know what I make when I do this and I know, I know what I, I've got it down to where I know what I got to do to get so much mm -hmm. for payout. And right. Like, well, let's just okay. Well, I'll, I'll, the... I'll buy it. I'll buy another game. Okay, I, I use Twitch money for to buy a game or yeah, or, literally everything or, I make goes I've, back in the stream. I've done it before. I've mm -hmm. bought games for people in the community too. So I, I like, well, I'll randomly just buy four or five games. Here you I go. don't. I, I, I would be scared to know how many times I've bought all the iterations of farming simulator over the years. Cause I think I bought like at least 10 copies of farm sim 15 alone. You know, I've bought those games. So, you know, so yeah. <clears throat> and giveaways and shit like that. I want a giveaway from you. Remember that? Yeah. I got Euro I truck. I got Euro truck sim two from you with, the, wow. DLC, yeah. with the DLC up to that point. Wow. Mm, I wanted one of your things. Hell yeah. I don't remember that, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, I feel so important. You don't remember that. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, that's ter terrible. You should remember everything, Bravo. You should remember every single person that's coming every, to your stream ever in existence. Every single person. Gosh. All like 5,612 of you. Several. I've been in a few convoys on Euro Truck these yeah. with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to roll pretty deep back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that night we were playing and I followed Rhino and we ended up not being with anybody. We were, we were in the middle of nowhere. Like, you and like, Rhino where are we? I, go, I don't know. I'm following <laughs> you. I'm not even looking where. Like you guys were on the other side of the world. And we were just talking and I was just following. I was like, you're in the middle of nowhere. I can remember um, we were playing Farming Simulator one time and Spider thought it would be oh, funny God. to reset right. my tractor. <laughs> I oh no. <laughs> no it wasn't a tractor there's a there's a clip somewhere on the stream it's, was it a, har the, a harvester she, it, she went to the store to get a plow yeah and i was streaming and she was streaming oh, yeah. and i don't know how i don't think she heard me saying it but i told my chat that watch this guys because i was the admin of the server so i could reset if you reset the equipment it goes back to the store or the farm i don't remember mm -hmm. they're all they're all different now i uh, know yeah and i go let's just see what happens because i didn't know i could actually do it because you were it was on you were moving mm -hmm. so she was driving she was she was driving across the field <laughs> with the plow going to the field she was working on and i hit reset on the plow and it just on, on her stream it just disappeared <laughs> and she just stops for a second there's like, a clip the yeah, yeah, there's a clip. there's a clip of this, and it's oh, just hilarious. Good. The reaction was hilarious. There's an there's another clip where, you know, back in the day, I was very like, I gotta wash all my toys and put them up. So you know, it's like cleany cleany washy washy. And then I'm sitting here cleaning my tractor. Spider comes up, rams my tractor out of the way, and I'm like, wait, oh, what? No. What are you doing? He gets out of his tractor, so I get in his tractor and I steal that fucker. And it's just I'm like, bye. Bye. That's a great. I think some too. these oh, simulator the games are such good ones too to just go on and just shoot the shit and have some Fuck fun, around. right? So I've had my I fair agree. share of doing stuff on Farming Simulator. Heck, even the AI mm -hmm. and how the some of the stuff works, uh, especially when Farming Simulator uh, 22 first came out. I remember there was a lot of bugs and stuff, and I was like lifting up a hay bale or something onto my the trailer or something. My tractor just mm -hmm. went flying. I have another clip where like my my tractor fell on its side on the road. And one mm -hmm. of the AI cars just came 
and hit my tractor and I did like <laughs> fly. I was like flying. I'm like, oh my god. Flying all the way across the map. Yeah, yeah I remember that. So oh, we've, oh, we've, we've had a lot of multiplayer yeah. shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, we we've definitely players, have a lot of uh, multiplayer lot of fun when you're streaming. Shenan shenanigans and uh and trucking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it... I've kind of stepped out of the trucking for a while. My wheel it's sitting right here on the ground. Mm -hmm. I have it. It's a. I don't like it up here on the desk all the time. Yeah, mine is yeah. I put right it on my here. shelf. I, I got um, over there. What was the last DLC? Montana. Montana. I got it, but I don't think I've been in it. I think I bought the garages. You know how you can buy them online, right? You don't have to. You don't have to drive. To, I've done that, but that's where I shut it off. I haven't yeah. been into Montana yet. Montana is really good. And really. I haven't played your. I probably haven't played Euro Truck since we played. So yeah, I just I just jumped on ATS, and that's just what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of good ATS there for a while. We were yeah, 50, you were rolling there 50, for a bit. 50, 60 viewers a stream. Hell yeah. And there was some update that came out, and it took mm -hmm. um, Truckers MP forever. It's They're like, always this is horrible. Like, I do. I remember those days. Oh, I was so mad. In fact, I'm looking right now. Yeah, I have deleted Truckers. I don't even have it. It's not on my PC. I have Trucks Book. There's the icon for Truck Sim, and I just will convoy, I guess. Yeah, I'm not, I'm yeah. Not doing a lot of MP a lot of people, especially with American Truck Simulator, have said I'm I'm done with Truckers MP. I'm just gonna play convoy mode. I'm, I'm never gonna have. I don't think I'm ever gonna have more than in a convoy with yeah, me. Yeah, like eight so. people yeah. is you know, it it works out for most people, right? For most people, yeah. I don't think we've ever had to worry about unless you plan it ahead and you like promote it for a month. Yeah. There's a fifty of us. Okay, well you better get Truckers MP back. You better get Truckers you, MP. Yeah. You're gonna need that, but. I've had a lot of fun trucking back in the day. I haven't done it in a while. Yeah. My little while has been a little over a month. <laughs> a month and a yeah. half even, I think, right? So. I think I'm, get, I'm getting bad. Like, usually I could have said oh, I last trek a few days ago. No, it was last week. So. I think I'll revisit a lot of it when I get the new. Yeah, when Texas get, comes when out, things, for sure. When things, when things are a little smoother. Hell yeah. Because, we'll my, my, like I said, my, my computer is, a, is aging. Definitely yeah. upgraded. So that's something Absolutely. I'm working on next. Hell yeah. Yeah. But there's just, I've got other things I want to buy. You know? There always is. There always oh, is something, isn't there? Many things. I've got like three new hobbies that I just. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to. Hard to three new hobbies, huh? For all, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm doing the trading card thing. I've been reloading ammo, playing with guns, things like that. Hell yeah. And no hobby is cheap, let me tell you. Like, there's no PS5, cheap hobby. <laughs> reloading, reloading ammo is cheap. I would <laughs> well, say uh, video gaming is one of the cheapest hobbies one could get into. Because, like, depends. you take American Truck Simulator, for, for you know, example. I've got over 3,000 hours into that game. Yeah. That's pennies till the hour, you know. I think it depends, right? Like, if you're in the PC kind of thing... There's a lot of times mm -hmm. where, you know, you're always wanting better upgrades to run games better. And, and sometimes you're spending thousands of dollars a year, you know, with, yeah. with PC and, and uh, games and everything to do uh, peripherals, like game controllers, you know, getting right. more of those. It just it's I feel like it's nonstop with gaming. <laughs> it is, but like game like video gaming compared to golf, you know, video gaming compared to radio airplane flying you know i feel like oh gaming is God. golf you can just Crazy. you can you buy that. a golf set and you could be good to go like i mean you could do the same thing with gaming too right you buy something you're good to go for a while uh the only yeah. thing you're mostly buying is tees to, and um, golf balls which are pretty cheap i used to race rc and oh boy oh that's not cheap yeah it oh can God. it can it can be a money pit right oh god yeah i would drive down to um, kansas city every weekend and race and oh my gosh i i don't even know how much money i had in that i'm glad that's a hobby that I, one day i just woke up called some buddies i go i want this out of my house buy it now <laughs> i'll make a deal and they bought everything <laughs> Let's my make RC. A deal. they bought it all i said get it out i'm done yeah, I'm done I'm done. I'm done pumping money into this you've closed that chapter yeah that's oh. fair but i think um investing in my um bulk my football cards right now that's my big thing Hell yeah, that's what's up. I think, and that stuff's getting that stuff's getting saved for later in life. 
Yeah, that's probably, your retirement plan. <laughs> probably, probably, well, probably not me. Oh, uh, I gotcha. <laughs> That's, That's fair, yeah. Later. yeah. But now my whole thing, like, is my hobby is learning hobbies, I swear. <laughs> I get to do a new <laughs> hobby, and then I'm in it for, like, you know, maybe a month or something. I'm like, right, next hobby, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. But, yeah, you know, $60 game, you get six years out of it. Yeah, that's definitely cheaper. Yeah, yeah. but there's also a lot of people that will buy a game and get, but like, 10 hours into it they play through and they're all, all right you gotta get the next game that's 60 dollars. so well then they're yeah. not buying the right games then are they <laughs> that's up to them wherever it's whatever yeah. it's worth it to them right so yeah yeah Don't i know. think i but, think uh, if all you did was watch tv uh, that's probably what you can beg that's some of the cheapest if you just had a netflix subscription you can live on that i don't know that's pretty cheap yeah <laughs> yeah i I can binge watch with the best of them, but at some point I'm like, I got, I got to get up. I got to do something. I got to play video game. I got to read a book. I got to go outside. You know, I can only sit down and watch television I'm the for same so way. long. Then I'm like, okay, you know, I'm like, okay. it depends on what I'm watching, I guess. I can sit there and watch six episodes of something like it's nothing. Yeah. So, um, it just depends have, on what it is. What have y'all been watching recently then? I've been watching Outlander. Mm -hmm. which is a very interesting show when i first saw the yeah. image of it i wasn't sure because i'm like this looks like you know i think when i first looked at the picture i guessed 16 1700s and i think mm -hmm. it was 1700s I was gonna say, is that one like set in the back the the really back back before time yeah so it's <laughs> 1700s like medieval era right so right um it's, it is interesting though like it takes it's it's basically somebody who travels back in time from the mm. 1900s to the 1700s so it's it was quite okay. interesting that's what really grabbed my attention it happened right on the first episode mm -hmm. i'm like this is great I, I i found it really neat so yeah um i finished one season so far of it i think there's five right now so, okay i'm gonna join that that's you been you've been watching anything here recently spider oh girlfriend and i have been doing house of dragon yeah. How is that? Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one off of uh, I, Game of Thrones, yeah. right? It's the hundred and seven. It's a hundred and seventy something years before Game of Thrones. Because I know there's like a Game of Thrones spinoff, and then there's like a Lord of the Rings spinoff. And um, it's it's good. It's good. I don't like its time jump. Mm. They've had to recast people twice now. Because they're they're moving oh ahead. Oh my God! Really? Moving ahead ten years, moving ahead fifteen years. That whatever. is fast within one and it's, season. It's, it's it's like they're trying to cram it all in one season, which I think that's wow. what they're doing. Is what it feels like, and it's just. At first, it was awesome. All right, Game of Thrones. Let's watch this. Now we're like, let's just skip tonight. We'll just watch the last two next weekend. You know, it's like mm -hmm. I'm not even excited to watch it. But I went back and I rewatching Peaky Blinders on Netflix. I think that's pretty good. It's one uh, show I've never been able to uh, to really I, um, get into. Did my yearly Breaking Bad? Yearly Breaking Hell, Bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's over. I got that oh, through that. Next I'm is yeah. I'm next so is, due. Next is my yearly Sons of Anarchy. That's yes. coming up next. That's a lot of seasons yeah. in that and one, isn't there? Six, seven, seven, six? six or seven. Okay. Seven, 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 seven. I, I got them all. Um, my yearly band of brothers. That's just ten episodes. I watch that every year. Something that's going to be coming new to me in twenty twenty three is my yearly watch of Ozark. Is I have a question. Is Ozark done? Yes, it is so done. It is done complete. So I have seen it all. Okay, Ozark is pretty. Yeah, oh, love I love the Probably last because season because I, I live north of the Ozarks. So yeah, <laughs> but it was filmed here in Georgia. I know. <laughs> I didn't know that until like. I didn't even know that until I think I heard it on your podcast or yeah. something. I, I was like, really? Yeah, I was like. That's bullshit. There would be somebody up <laughs> like, oh, it's so pretty. I want to go to the Ozarks. I'm like, oh, yeah, they filmed that shit on like Lake Lanier. <laughs> it's funny, though. Like, you you think it's filmed somewhere, and then you you read about it or hear about yeah, it, and you're like, I was what? <laughs> Monday, Monday, Tuesday, I was in the Ozarks. That was my yeah. route. I was down oh, there. Yeah. So Lake of the Ozark. I was, God, I, was, I bet it's I, beautiful this time of year too. Oh, like it's a, this was fall. pretty cool. This was the first time that I almost texted my boss and said, "If you ever wanted to watch the camera that's on the dash, you might want to turn it on now. This is pretty oh, cool. Yeah. It was beautiful. 
But yeah, that's about what I've been watching. Um, it's football season for me, so. Speaking of football season. Thursday uh, through Sunday, I'm pretty busy. I started and finished Ted Lasso on Apple TV, and I adore it so much. I wasn't a big Jake, Jason Sudeikis fan before watching uh, Ted Lasso, but I'm a huge Jason Sudeikis fan now. There's only two seasons, so it's pretty easy to binge watch. There's a third one coming out whenever, probably uh, maybe, you know, next spring or summer. But it is so good. I don't even know and what that is. I don't have they, Apple so, TV. So, so, so here's either. the thing. Ted Lasso is a college football coach right. who has been hired to go coach a premier league in soccer in England. And this dude is like, Ted Lasso is like one of the most like optimistic, positive thinking people you'll ever see in a series. And he's just so fucking funny. And it, I started watching thinking, oh, this isn't going to be that great. It's not going to be my thing. But I watched a couple episodes and I was hooked. I'm like, damn, this is actually good. And uh, it did win a Grammy for, I think, best uh, comedy series or whatever. Not a Grammy, a... Um, Gold, Golden Globe. That's what I was trying to think of. I was watching. I totally lost interest. Was the Lord of the Rings thing on Amazon? Rings Not of great. Power. Yeah. I got like two episodes in. It just does. Just it drags on. It never. Yeah. I heard it's very it slow. slow. It lost me. It lost slow me burn. pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying I probably won't go back when it's all done and maybe try again, mm -hmm. but I, I totally lost me. Interesting. And House yeah. of the Dragon, it kind of did the same thing. It's like. So I'm not excited to watch what, the last two episodes. I don't even yeah, care. It's interesting I hear. watched the first Hobbit, and Peter Jackson lost me on that. I never did go see the other Hobbit films. I'm like, eh, no. <laughs> so House of Dragons, like, that's the Targaryens, like, way back, right? That's what that's based on? And you said 170 years ago? I think it was House of the Dragon. It said when the first episode, a bunch of writing come up, and it said this takes place 170-something years, 172 before... Uh, the birth of Daenerys Targaryen, which is the mother of dragons on Game of Thrones. This is the House of the Dragon is the story of the Targaryen. Because, mm -hmm. like, I got the and book. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. I got the book called Fire and Blood from uh, George R. R. Yep. Martin. And this says it's 300 years before Game of Thrones. And that's what this, this is when the dragons ruled Westeros. So that was like, that was also so Targaryen this start, stuff. Okay. This, that this starts they're already in western yeah so this is this is probably after yeah that this book. is like just after that book which i don't yeah there's i don't think there's a book on that part so it's kind of weird that's their own storyline that they came up with i guess i'm not sure how all these work with what's the what's i, I remind me because i'm bad with it what's the author's name george rr R. martin he's directly involved with this house of dragons so i think it's something oh, out of here okay. i just figured he was dead <laughs> oh no he's not dead Okay. No, he's he is directly in, he's involved in it. So it's part of I don't know. I don't follow up that close. I just watch the show. <laughs> I just watch the fucking show, okay? But I think I but know this, I think this not. is after that book. But yeah, that's what it seems like, right? You know, it's part. yeah. Now then in 2024, the sequel, Jon Snow, is supposed to be coming out. So at the end of Game of Thrones, where you see Jon Snow going back to the north. That's supposed to come out and continue from there, and I hope they don't mess that up. I'd rather see that than what I've seen so far. Yeah, because that's the storyline I'm used to. I guess he's still writing the the next book, which I think he's been writing for many, many, many years, and it's such a meme people say. But apparently, he's come through, <laughs> and he said that he's three quarters of the way done the book. So people are like, "All right, so okay. we got eight more years to go." <laughs> what, what everybody oh, says. Boy. So uh, but I'm a pretty big fan. I like Game of Thrones. It's probably top three series i i love the first few seasons it. of it but it started once it started I veering mean, away from i haven't read the books but like I, I i know many people have talked about it and and i've read a lot of the bases of how the books run and stuff it's like once people say once it started veering off of the books it's kind of they kind of lost it it, it yeah. kind of went off the rails a little i i made a point every year to have to get the season so i've got them all so i can watch them when Hell yeah. About once a year, I'll set through it. But HBO makes it easy. I don't have to use my discs. <laughs> I can just... Hell, right, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I've, um, just recently, I started watching Black Mirror, which is fascinating. What's it, that on? Uh, Netflix. 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 And it's basically 
there's no carryover. Each up, you could watch these no. episodes in any way, shape, or form. And uh, I was highly recommended to start with uh, White Bear, Polar Bear. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. And yeah. it is a really Something good better. episode. It basically gives you the premise of what Black Mirror is all about. It's like. I would say it's sort of like a modern take on Twilight Zone, hmm. but it's really fucking good. It's really freaking interesting. So episodes are different, just like yep. different stories. Yeah, even the okay. se like seasons, huh. episodes within the season, it's all different. Don't start with the first episode of season one because it's it sucks. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, it sucks. Watch one of the others, but start with White Bear. Uh, it, it's really okay. fucking good. I I got what I can complain can complain about. Okay, let's hear it. Dahmer. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even watched that. I'm series. sorry. Don't. Yeah. That, that, that I watched the whole thing and I just couldn't believe. I don't know why I have such a problem with because there's all kinds of life crime drama series on Netflix. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why Dahmer hits me the way it does. It's like I think it's weird you're even touching this subject mm -hmm. because of who he is, what he did. And then as I'm watching it, I, I find myself not want, want mm -hmm. to. I want to know what the hell happens next. This is so bad. Right. The making of it's not bad. It's the story of Jeffrey Dahmer. It's, right. it's, a, it's a horrible thing in our history mm -hmm. because of who he was. And I just had a I just had a problem with it. And she was watching it. And I go, I can't believe you're watching this. <laughs> and then, I, then I started to really get into it. I was sitting there at my chair at my sofa watching it and then i'd get on my phone and pull google up and mm -hmm. i guess the victims families are mm -hmm. having big trouble with this yeah they're having problems they're, they're like reliving the tragedy of it through this series yep and it's just crazy and in my mind i just think it's a taboo thing why would you make a series about this this, uh, this is crazy and, and many other yeah. forms like even with World War II and the Holocaust and all that, right? We've seen all these films mm -hmm. based yeah. on that that yep. that brought in a lot of dark stuff too. So, you know, it's definitely a touchy yeah. subject with the, a lot of people. That, that's a good. That's good. Dark. It's just a dark topic yeah. that I just I don't I th in poor taste, in my opinion. Yeah, I yeah, Netflix that's, is poor taste, in my. I opinion. think I've pretty much decided I'm not going to watch it because uh, because of the whole family thing, and then. It's like if you've watched a special on Dumber, you pretty much know the story, you know. It it's put together well, it's filmed well, it's produced well. I love well. Evan Peters, the actor. Story. Like, it's just the story of it. Yeah. It's like I can't Evan believe Peters it. is I, phenomenal, but I think I it just, was just more of a I can't believe we went there. Okay. I yeah. find it crazy that like I, sometimes, you know, once in a while I'll open up TikTok for a few minutes that I have spare and scroll through some tic TikToks and I find it Really mm -hmm. strange that people are making a huge joke out of this, and uh, they're portraying themselves as uh, Dahmer and doing these things that like he did. So there's a lot of people that have like mm -hmm. a Polaroid camera and they're taking weird ass pictures and all this, right? And mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, man, whatever. Yeah, people will find anything. I that... guess we we that's TikTok we culture totally, for you, though. Yeah. We totally got different TikTok feeds because I never seen that. <laughs> I've seen everything but, on yeah, there. Just, like, that's <laughs> like uh, the 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 culture of I'm willing to do anything for the likes, you know, and that's a yeah. dangerous culture, and it's just not. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, I don't mind a good scary movie, but I, I guess maybe it's just I'd rather have it be fiction. Well, yeah, guess. there's a difference yeah. between it being fiction. There's even a difference between you know a family going on. Name the freaking real life crime, like Force First Forty Eight or something like that, and they tell their story. They're willingly telling their story about something horrible that happened to a f friend or family member, versus Netflix saying we're gonna do this. You know, we're we're gonna do Dahmer, and you know, f your feelings to the family because they don't really care. But at the end of the day, it's content. People are gonna watch it. Oh yeah, but I think I've personally chosen. It was on the. It was on the top 10 for a while. Yeah. On Netflix. Absolutely. I love like fiction yeah. stories that go off the rails on a lot of different subjects. Right. And you know, it's just, you know, yeah. it's not real. And that's like black mirror at its essence. Like, do, 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 do. well, that takes a lot of like kind of takes on the future of a lot of things too. I know a yeah. lot of episodes mm -hmm. are based on that and yeah. Um, In the not too distant future. Exactly. Kind of like a dystopian uh, kind of mm -hmm. universe so uh, I have read a lot of books well I actually haven't read a lot of books but I've read many books that um, 
kind of have that fiction story that kind of go off mm-hmm. on random things. And Stephen like Hunger Games Stephen or, King has yeah. read a, wrote a lot of books that are <laughs> they have some pretty wild stories in there. There's a lot of crazy stuff that oh, he yeah. talks about in there. One hundred percent. Yeah. Man, if any of that happened, I mean, I'm sure some of his stories have happened somewhere IRL. Who knows, right? Yeah. But um, I like to think yeah. that they haven't. So. <laughs> Like misery. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's that's oh, had now, to have happened somewhere, right? Classic. Come on. Misery is an absolute classic. Yeah. Um, but anyway, you got a quote for us this week, Nick? Yeah. This is actually because it relates to me so personally. And I saw this quote, and it's another one by, by uh, Rick Riordan, um, who's the author of some of the books that I'm reading, the author of um, Percy mm-hmm. Jackson which is the original series and it goes uh deadlines just aren't real to me until i'm staring one in the face and <laughs> i i saw that i'm like that's so funny because i'm such a procrastinator like i am so mm-hmm. heavy on pro- i will push something off until right there the deadline's like right there and right. i find i work better under pressure when it's like that when i'm kind of have that time restraint mm-hmm. i can almost yeah. work better and, and do th- work more efficiently so because you know there's a there's a deadline coming up yeah it's with schoolwork i if i did something like two weeks before due date it probably wouldn't Mm -hmm. even be as good if i did it the the day before interesting so you're saying you work better under pressure than trying to get it done and dusted with you know a week to go 100 interesting um in the moment in the moment yeah live in the moment um my quote, don't let the wisdom of age be wasted on you. And that's from Ted Lasso. And I don't know. I heard it and I liked it. I'm not sure why I liked it. Uh, it's an interesting quote, I guess. Uh, I don't really know how to <laughs> dissect that quote, but I like it. So I just thought I'd share it. That's fair. <laughs> I don't have a quote. <laughs> you know of any quotes you that have, you've if, maybe if, heard? If you if, if if you have me back, I will be prepared. I will have one. All right. Hello. I have I have a quote, but I don't know. I can't remember exactly how to where I gotta look it That's up. Fair. That's good. You'll like it. So next Your time, is, yeah. If I'm if I'm back again, I will I think, have a quote. I, think it's like I will. We'll have you back there. I will definitely have a quote, and All right. I'll have it ready. Guess your quote uh, now I, is I, like I've a, got a good one. I've got a good one that I've stop. I just want to re- I, I want to make sure I work. Yeah. So. Stop thumbing your nose at consoles. And I don't, and I, don't I don't want to sit here like stare at my phone. Consoles are it. great, you know. Yeah, don't just I say if you want to play on console, rock it out. If you want to play on what you like. Exactly. That's, That's yes. I've, and I've always I have always said that in my dreams when we have this conversation. Mm-hmm. Play what you like. Play what you, you like. Play, if you don't want to play farm sim on console, don't. Yeah. If you do, do. Have a good time. If you're having fun, that's what matters. That's all that matters. Yeah. I've had tons of fun playing on console, like in the past, right? I Last night's yeah. a perfect example of this. I was so pissed off that I was going to have to sit there and play Among Us. <laughs> I, I was mad. I was like, I don't want to play this game. I played seven minutes of it, and I deleted it. <laughs> I didn't care. Right. I had the best time last night. It was it was a blast. Hell so, yeah. It's still, I still have it downloaded. I haven't deleted it yet. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, I think, to do it again. I, I'm looking for that. I had a blast oh, yeah. playing that game. Hit us up. So, you never really know Among until you tr- really time. try it out, right? So, yeah, yeah. I, I never, I never got online and played with anybody else and we had this controlled setting where we were all in the room playing together. Mm-hmm. All yeah. right. This is actually decent. This Pretty is more than good. A, definitely more than I expected. Right. And I'll, I, I'll admit that I was wrong about it. I, I was, I, I will admit, I was, I, I had the same kind of mindset on Among Us as well, way back. I was, I was the same way. When it first came out, I, I saw like all this stuff, like the sus crap and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ah, pfft. this is a, this yeah. is like a eight year old game or something, right? Yeah, exactly <laughs> what I said. Yeah. To, I think I said that to Tommy Bowen. This is like for 12 year olds. Yeah, so we something. were right in the, the same thing. And I, I've been asked I before. Did. and it's like $3 on Steam. If you guys yeah. want. There you go. It's a really yeah. great multiplayer game. We played it's tons of it earlier game. earlier this year, right? We used to play yeah. it a lot. Yeah, we were we were yeah we were on it pretty good. Um, I was like that with Minecraft. I didn't play Minecraft for the longest time because I'm like, oh, the graphics are awful. It's a little blocky game. It's so oh. stupid. But then once I played it, I'm like, oh my god, it's the best thing ever. 
You, know? you know, my my first Minecraft experience was Xbox 360. Oh yeah, on the console. Yep. Yep. Interesting. Of course, when I got to computer, that's all it took. Honestly, I didn't mind that's the version really on Xbox. I had a fun time actually. I don't mind, I don't mind console Minecraft. It's I have fun with it. I, mm. I, I just don't take it serious. Well, that's yeah. coming from now, you. Get me on a server. You get me on a server with people with three hundred people. Then it's time mm -hmm. to play. I will hop on there and go. But me and my girlfriend and I play. Like I said, on the they're pretty cool guys, and it's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! But yeah, no, like I, I first started playing Minecraft on PC, and so I went from PC to console, and I still had a good time. I had fun, like fun playing with Hell some yeah. friends and whatnot. So um, that was Good many shit. years ago on the 360, but <laughs> long time ago when you were like seven. No, actually, when I was like 13. <laughs> okay. 12, 13. Oh, so that was just a few years ago. Yeah, exactly. Damn, is it... I feel like <laughs> no, the, was the like 360 ago, is on. older than that. So real, I was gonna real, say. so real quick, I have a request. Okay. You're going to have to work on this, Bravo. Okay. A few episodes back, you guys did your little truth or lie thing. Mm -hmm. I've yet to see the picture of a billboard. <laughs> I don't know, oh. man. It's I've a had, thing. I've asked you personally for it. I know. I, I There's got to be a picture where, of it somewhere. It there is be. somewhere. I just don't know. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Because, you know, that was in 1992. Mm. That was a long fucking time ago. That was, that was a great 30 request. 30 years ago. I'm in it now. I want to I wanna know. <laughs> I need to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I think as soon as I heard it on the podcast, I went straight to Discord. It was like, hey. <laughs> where's this fucking picture at? <laughs> oh, shit. That's too funny. I will try. I can't make any promises, though. But I know it was a thing because I remember seeing it. With the freaking DJ from Star 94. All right. Whoever that was in 1992. Every every podcast, <laughs> I'm going to remind you. I'm waiting on that. Oh, my God. Oh my I'm God. sure Spider over here will send you a message every once in a while, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hell, yeah. But, uh, yeah. If you got any questions or comments, you can drop us a line at gbbspodcast at gmail.com. I've been Wendy. You can find me on Twitch and on Tik uh bleh, Twitch and TikTok at BravoChick10 and on Instagram and Twitter at Bravo No, Twitch and TikTok at BravoChick and then oh god. <laughs> it's I'm either Bravo Chick or Bravo Chick Come 10. On. You, you fucking figure, figure it, it out. out. <laughs> uh, Spider, is there anything else you wanted to say before you get off? Uh, no, thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Of course. It's, it's been, been a blast. It's been a lovely you can find me. I'll keep it simple. I won't be like what that <laughs> just was. But hey, X Spiders with MX on Twitch. Info is all the info is on there actually of other platforms. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'm. Thanks for having I'm me. I'm Nick, also known as Nickinator15 on Twitch, just Nickinator on YouTube and TikTok, and the real Nickinator on Instagram. I know I've got many different ones too, but just look for the little snake logo. All right, little head of a snake. Just look for that. There you it's go. on every single platform of mine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's been me. Thank you guys so much for listening in on this podcast. And thank you, thank you to the Spider next, for coming uh, on. It's been yeah, a blast thank having you. Spider for coming on. Yep. Okay. We've been, uh, he was one of the first people I thought about when we decided to start doing a podcast. I'm like, yeah, we got to get Spider on here. And here sure. we are on the 11th podcast. Yep. I'm sure <laughs> that's my, he'll I be think back. That's mostly my fault. My schedule. <laughs> My schedules yeah. are it's hard to line right. up schedules. It really is. It, right? it is really difficult to line up schedules. So, yeah. Um, you actually caught me on an odd week. I'm here. I'm home <laughs> yeah. on a Wednesday. I know you said that there was like a small chance you might be here. So, yeah, it worked out. It worked out pretty good. I'm definitely got a week. The week of Thanksgiving, I'm off that whole week. Hell yeah. So Absolutely. Well, we'll be back on um, two weeks from now. Yep. Live recording. And uh, this episode should be to all the platforms by friday that's right the 28th for and we're oh. jumping into november we're getting into the burr well you already were in the burr sorry that but we're, we're actually the, the burr i want that actually feel cold when you go outside right yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah. don't know about you but it's still been nice uh, weather up here so it's been Canada. really nice down here so mm -hmm. all right so uh yeah that's it for the 11th episode of games broadcasting bullshit love you faces see you bye